Hello there. Welcome. My name is Ni Amudu, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the lost art of modeling. The word modeling is not a new word, and I think many people don't even know what it means. But what it means is to use a system, a procedure. In our case, a design, someone else's design, as an example to follow or imitate. So, modeling means using someone's procedure, someone's um, system, someone's whatsoever. In our case, someone's design as an example to follow or imitate. Okay, I need to let you know that there is no no idea or any design that is original. We all steal. Let the truth be told. We all steal. We all draw inspiration from other people's design. We all look at something that we admire from other people's design and we copy it and add it to our own. The problem is most graphic designer copy verbatim they copy everything word for word color for color text for text and use it for their design that is unprofessional and you can be arrested for that if even so we want to learn how you can actually model and when you bring pieces of um, ideas from different people's design you go to designer one you copy how the date is being um, how the date is being uh, done. You copy the text from designer two, and you copy um, let's say the color, the color pattern from designer three, and then you put all that together. You bring your own piece that becomes unique and becomes your own design. So we all steal. In fact, um, if you read. Uh, what's his name? This author, Austin Cleons. Cleons. If you look, Austin Cleons will still like a professional artist. You will see that. You will see that. Still like an artist. I mean, you will see when he said that nothing is original. That um, originality is actually plagiarism, on, <laughs> undetected. Okay, so we all still that's one thing you need to know. Everybody we need to learn how to model. So in this tutorial, I'm going to practically model a design so that you know how to do it. I've seen people here and there model my design. No, sorry, steal my design, and maybe they have done it some of you here. And so it's necessary that we educate ourselves on this lost art of modeling. It will make you standard, make your, your design unique. Okay, so the internet is free. So, what you do is this when you are giving a design project, all you have to do is to go over to Pin Interest, go over to Pin Interest, and search for that design that you want to do. Okay, so you're doing a search for land design for instance. Why not go over and get ideas from other designers? You can go to um like I said and you get ideas from other designers and you can also go to by hands you can go to buy hands and you will see a lot of design okay so you can go to buy and then um okay buy all right so you see a lot of designs that you can actually model so you just go over there and you search for what you're looking looking for. So for you say you're looking for a flower design, all right. So what you just do, you just write um, look at them say it's a social media um, design, all right. So all I have to do is to all I have to do is to search, okay. I search for it and you see it will come up, and I will see a lot of examples by other designers. I I getting it so. When you see what other designers are doing, you are now to look at the one that inspire you, inspires you the most and 
you pick it and select it and just keep it you screenshot and save it for your design projects all right so it could be the way the text was used it could be the way um the the colors was being used or there's a particular element that you saw in the design that caught your attention and you just like that pattern okay so why not take it and then model it okay so let's try and see what we can do all right so this is just exactly what you do so you can go to buyers also you can go to pinterest you can go to google you can go to instagram instagram is another place of inspiration there are some good graphic designers that you can get they are um they are ando and wow you're good to go so you see just go over to this website and murder them mr vc14 always it was it caused these um borrowing brilliance so it's not a crime to borrow brilliance from other people's work borrow brilliance from other people's work so you can actually borrow for instance you want to do a better design all you needed to do was to go to the search um go to search and you just search for birthday um sorry birthday designs all right and you will see a lot of it coming up all right so it's all there for you so you see birthday designs coming and you decide to and there was a time i even more than this guy itself there was a time i modeled this design all right so you you look at the designs that you actually like that caught your attention i think most of you self <laughs> some of your designs are yeah some of you got your ideas from here all right so what you do is that you don't do exactly what you're saying but rather you make it better all right make it better so that it is not just exactly the way um, you saw it all right so let's look at what we can do from this um tutorial all right so these are so i just want to do a simple better design actually so let me let's um pick we're gonna pick two or three designs and we'll work with it all right so let me get something now um okay so let's get this lady all right okay so i'm gonna save it download image so i've downloaded it already all right it's downloaded all right so it's downloaded let's look for something else another better design that we can actually mold it so i've gotten one let's look for another one another better design there are quite many actually so um let's look for something crazy almost there almost there okay so let's get this guy let's see it's a better design no, it's not but then let's pick it because i'm going to actually get something from it all right so guys we've gotten two images um, this design this design here was the, the, the graphic designer there copied this particular guy here all right and you can see that i think it all also reflected in one of the or in all, another design I saw one design just now where it's actually reflected. So you see, these guys are copying each other. They are actually modeling each other. But what will make you stand out is when you do yours in a very unique way. So I look at this guy here. All right. So you see, you see the same thing, but it's not exactly as that first. All right. So that's um, the power of modeling. So I think we can go over to our to our, our hub now and try to get something out from what we just downloaded so let's go all right so i'm going to bring in the um, two flyers i just downloaded i'm going to bring them in so this is the first i'd like to crop it like this this is the first and let's bring the second all right the 
a second okay so now these are the two designs all right now these are the two designs that i have here now let's assume that i want to model from these two designs so instead of me to just come over to this picture and come over to design this design right here and then just model it I use a white background use bring a picture put a test behind the picture put a script um font in front of it and then do this do this use the same color okay now what i like about this design is um the simplicity and is is it's, it's just the simplicity now see what we're going to do now all right now instead of coming to the design just copying the text and everything and that way i'm circled back now see what i'm gonna do now remember that this design is white color this is black color i'm going to use make use of um a particular um what's called i'm going to make use of a particular um turks for a black um design all right so let's go to the point so first i want the background to be okay, let me use the white background actually i want the background to be white all right okay now then i want i want i want then the picture let's get the picture that we're going to use mm, hope we we'll get one first so we go to photo room let's get a picture all right so i would work with this picture This picture is what I'm going to work with. So, okay. Alright, <laughs> you can see all of them that are smiling. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do now. Now, I'm going to use, instead of using this same pattern that was used here to, um, as in, uh, make the picture of. Um, fade or faint or cut a little i'm going to use another way to do that and this is it i'm going to use this guy here uh, i thought this is in previous tutorials how you can actually front to background and then copy this and then bring this together and we we'll now have to mesh them together and we'll Bring this guy here and then bring it out. I will increase the tolerance. Alright, so Alright, so this guy can have become black in color. Sorry, black. I'm sorry, it's just a black white. Okay, so we'll see here and find the picture. Alright, so now take notes. Look at what I want to do now. Now, the picture is full color, so I want to make my my horn. I want to make it black and white. I get it now. Okay, so think outside the box as a graphic designer. So that is it. So, uh, all right, so. I want to make use of the circle okay so look at this design now what I want to copy from here is the way the social media uh, handle was written at the top at the bottom corner and was there something else there let me bring this in front produced by blah 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 okay so so I'm going to use that now. I'm going to text. Okay, so I'm going to put T. Um, 
this 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 t is for twitter f is for facebook c is for instagram and y is for youtube all right so then we'll go over and then we'll go to the social media font it's called social circle so and then find it all right so can we do this guy now? So the idea of modeling is copying eyes and patterns from designs and using it to form or make yours. So I've copied the way that guy was written there. I like it. That's all. Now, the next thing I want to copy from this design is a circle at the middle, at the back of the picture. But instead of making my circle like that, see what I'm going to do now. So this guy now. What, what can I mold it from here? What exact one can I mold it from here? Um, what I like, what I think I say is scripts. Alright, so apart from that, there's nothing more. So, if I want to do that, I'll just take my text here. pixel up ensure that you pad out your text when you choose any screen font so i think we can make it bold and so i can take this one out for now I want to add a golden texture to it. I add a golden texture to it. So I just go right to where I have the stuff downloaded and I'll just get it. That's all. So I downloaded it already. So this is it. So just click on it and that's it. So we send it to the back. Alright, so. Let's still work on the picture. Okay, so, alright, so this is it. Now, um, one, one more thing, I just want to add one more effect to it. Now, this is not in the original design, you understand? Now, this and this things I'm adding is what is making the design look unique, as in pressure. Okay, so I'm adding other features that was not in the true design that I'm modeling. So I'm sending this to the back. So, 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 so,
this is on. And the only thing that I got from here is the pattern that these guys. Oh, sorry. put anything here yeah. let's just do our alignment so you can see that the design is unique now it's as if i'm the one that created it from scratch but i actually got my the idea from by looking at two designs online and i was able to come up with something like this right so this is it that's it that's it that is the whole idea in modeling so instead of going to steal people's design and just copying it word for word so that there are people that you you just want to just copy your designs and without even saying anything without somebody telling you i, say, I, I know where god is you know it shouldn't be that way that people just look at the design and then know exactly where you got it from yes there are times that people can look at your design and they'll say ah, i think this guy got his uh, ideas from so 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 design but then you should be creative enough to make yours at least um different all right so this is a better design so something's gonna be here actually so i'm just gonna pick this and put something there uh, anything actually so i just want to write the word arch um celebrate That's just, that's just all. Alright, so that's just all. So this line, this line. Okay, so. Have you, have you seen it now? Now, you will not be able to come and meet me and tell me that I more like to cook this design. Are you seeing it? Alright. Now, look at the text. This text is different. The text, the font type, is different from this one. So you will not easily, quickly just get them. They look at the um, look at the back, the, the shape. The shape is see the same circle, but now mine is different in a way. Okay. All right. So this is what I modeled from this design and this other design. The only thing that caught my attention is just the way it's script, the script font and i couldn't get the exact one though but i got something similar to it so that's the importers and that's how you should model your designs as a graphic designer so you shouldn't just go and copy people people's design apps i can't i don't know if i can show you some design that people actually they model it like the model property and people come around and like uh, they will look at you as a lazy or serious graphic designer. So please work on modeling. Modeling. Pick fragments of inspiration from different design and use it to make your own design and your own masterpiece, and that will make you actually start art. So don't forget the medium modeling. It means to use a system 
a procedure, in our own case, a design as an example to follow. Okay, so you could look at a person's design and you just what you just like is the font type, or what you just like is the arrangement of elements, and then you can modern that. But there are people, there are graphic designers that just go ahead and they will model the color, model everything. In fact, there are some that will collect, <laughs> those are thief actually, and it's punishable by the law. They will just copy your design and then they will begin to edit it. That's very wrong. So learn how to steal like a professional artist. So I recommend that you read this book by Austin Cleon. It is titled, Steal Like an Artist. Thank you so much. See you in the next tutorial.